high five so I gained about three inches in 2016 and right now I'm at five eight and I decided that I was ready for the second time so that's why we're doing the fibula one week out from surgery feels pretty good i can do some walk with the with the walker and then i'm doing some pts and i'm gonna start lengthening today when i get the device and i'm looking forward to that dr m is, is really nice he does take care of you he's, he's available all the time to speak with you if you have concerns so that's the main reason why i came back to him for a second time Okay, do you mind pulling up your shorts a little so I can see your thighs? Oh, the, the Amazing, songs, yeah. yes. Okay. Now straighten out the leg, this one, yeah. Straighten it out if you can. Perfect. Good, now bend it. Amazing. The Andesha. Gibson spent 170k on two height lengthening surgeries. After being subjected to heightism for being five foot five, he said a long struggle to get a girlfriend due to the fact that he was five foot five inches of a frame. Initially turning to medication and a spiritual healer to try to increase his height, he realized he has lost resort. Uh, was surgically enhancing his height to give him the height he truly desired. Now, I'm just going to add in my observation of this all. Uh, have we gotten this bad in America, in Western culture, and Western dating, that men have to be subjected to surgically do things to themselves just to attract women? Whatever happened to just knowing how to attract women based off who you are, being who you are, that's what really... To me, in my opinion, if you're a spiritual person, that to me is that that energy that you have between each other, the energy that's being built. That's what organically attracts you to women. If you believe in that to that spiritual temple and then other physical part, parts is you can do other things besides getting surgery on your legs. Let's just say if you're five foot five of a frame. You can develop a masculine body by going to the gym and working out. I've seen shorter men get beautiful women, and most of these women are taller than them. So, I mean, if you build up on yourself, you don't need to get this height. Height is a way of a cheat code of just cheating the game. So that way, it will put you into a spot to where you're just going to accept whatever girl comes your way, and you'll be able to choose. Listen, I know that dating is hard. I know it. I'm experiencing it right now myself, even me being older. American dating sucks. It does. It truly does. Um, there's a lot of insecure women that are that are walking around not knowing what the hell they want. You can be an honest, true guy and have true intentions of wanting to be with a woman. And then the next minute, you know, she starts acting kind of weird with you. Or let's just say you approach a woman and she just doesn't want nothing to do with you. And let's just say she's not interested and she doesn't lead you on. Consider yourself lucky. Some men get lead on by women based off on how they feel at that moment. They could be bored and they want attention, but that doesn't mean that she's into you. Like, I get it. And some men are doing things physically to get the women that they want so that way they can avoid the games that are being played and to be honest with you the games never stop being played no matter how tall you are men i don't suggest men should do this to themselves um the same thing with uh, uh there's the re reconstruction of a penis if your penis is small there's men out there spending money but listen i i this is what i this kind of puzzles me about this guy i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm, I'm tired of being nice this guy is 41 years old. He's around my age, man. You know, at this point in your life and you're 41 years old, you're supposed to already know the game for what it is. And a woman is not supposed to persuade you on making you feel a certain way that you need to change about yourself. Nine times out of 10, it has nothing to do with you, man. And this is just some friendly advice to Moses Gibson if he's listening. It has nothing to do with you, my man. Everybody gets rejected regardless. It's just a part of life. Just like me dealing with business now, 
in my business, um, I'm getting rejected from offers all the time. So you're always going to face rejection, guys. People who are listening here, no matter if it's dating women, no matter if it's if it's to get a, that new job that you're trying to get so bad, no no matter if it's uh just anything in life, man. You're going to you're going to have to deal with adversity and rejection, man. That's just a test. And women do test you most of the time, too. Some women will say, oh, I don't like a guy who's overweight, but you could be overweight. And then she's trying to test your insecurities to see if you feel that you're overweight. It's it's weird. It's weird like that. But everything's a fucking test, man. Since Eve fucking took that rotten apple from the fucking tree and she gave it to Adam, that bitch has always been fucked up. And you can see it today. Women are fucked up, dude. We know that. So just don't play into their fucking games, man. You're 41 years old. He says he long struggled to get a girlfriend due to the fact that he was five foot five of a frame. Intentionally turning to medication and spiritual healer, he tried to increase his height. And Gibson was just saying, Gibson, it's just sad though, man. Gibson told Kennedy, the news media, saying he just didn't feel good about himself. I was unhappy, he says, about it most of the time because I was too short. I couldn't get women. It was my self-confidence in general. And with the ladies... It affected my dating life. I used to put things in my shoes to gain. I used to do that too. I used to do that too. And I started to play basketball. I started to do things that kind of stretch my bones out. I mean, you might be a little bit too old to do that now. Um, so, yeah, because at 41 years old, your bones, ain't. I don't think it's going to grow anymore. Unless you get into some sort of sports or activities that will get your bones to get bigger. But, I mean, not bigger, but I guess extended but at that age is kind of late so I don't suggest you do it. and then you, you don't want to end up pulling something you're 41 years old you're on my age man motherfuckers ain't trying to do anything to go to the hospital now man, <laughs> or pull anything we just want to take care of our bodies man so that way we can last for a good another 30 40 years if our life expanded that further or more you know god bless us um putting things in your shoe man I used to do the same thing too um but this is a sad. This is sad, though, man. This this kind of reminds me. I think everybody, every man, could can understand this. Because I've been through things like this, where I had to put things on my shoe because I was too short. Um, if you're 41 years old, you're supposed to already know life as it is now. I mean, I hope you have had some experience with women in your 20s or your 30s. One thing I've learned about women's behaviors. And even the women that I'm getting right now. At one time, I couldn't approach women. I was I was shocked and scared out of my mind. But then I realized it was just me on why women just wasn't thrown to me or didn't give me the attention or the looks that I was looking for. Because I was giving off physically a look that I don't want to be bothered with nobody. And women can do the same thing too to draw people away from them. So I started to change up my look and started to look happy and started to feel happy. And that's what I did. Now I'm getting women. Now it's got to the point where me approaching women is a whole lot easier because I started to work on myself, on myself, not surgically do anything to make me have a smile, but for me to just naturally smile. And I got women's attentions. Women love my dimples. They love they they give me compliments about my smile. So guess what I do? I smile all the time. Women like those type of things. I go I take notes. I take notes, ladies, when you talk to me, you so you tell me certain things I should do. I take notes. So, I ended up improving myself. I smiled at women. I started to get females' numbers. Um, but today I'm lacking. Second and third base, I'm a little bit lacking on. Um, my problem in dating is not necessarily my looks per se. It used to be, but not anymore. I've I've overconquered that shit. I just don't give a fuck anymore. Uh where I struggle, because I think every man struggles with getting women somehow, and they struggle. They just don't want to admit it, but somehow they get cut off at either first base, second base, or third base. Mine's, it's like second base. Um, as I'm older, I love conversations with women. I, I love to connect with a woman logically, and that's my weakness. It's when I meet a woman who's logically, her mind, her brain... 
I mean, the physicality is there. Of course, I got to be physically attracted to you. But if you have the mind of a logical person, I that is so fucking attractive. Like, you don't understand, ladies, how attractive that is to men. Or at least to me. To have a conversation with a woman that you can talk on life, logical things, dating. And she understands what men go through. I was I met this chick that was like that. And she's a spiritual reader. And I like her a lot. I really do like her a lot. And I think where I fucked up at is I overtext her. And I, I said to myself, I would never get caught up with doing that shit. I promised myself I would never give a bitch all my fucking energy to where she just knows everything to fuck with me. You know what I mean? I don't like when people don't respond back to my texting. I'm going to make a video on that, though. We're talking about dating here, guys, because I'm pretty sure we all had this experience. I don't like the fact when I get cut off on second base initiating the dating, I may get too caught up and I realize that I'm over texting. When I over text, I tend to lose the person that I'm engaged to. And the reason for that is I'm showing too much of my feathers. Um, one thing is for sure, and I can honestly say this, when I just don't care about women, when I don't focus on women, and I'm focusing on getting my bag, women start to come to me. And I'm sure if you guys proceed with the same type of energy, you would probably get the same thing with women too. Um, you always want to keep things the way they are even when you meet a female man just be yourself just be how you are when you met her and just focus keep doing what you're doing man keep doing what you're doing do not sidetrack for anything because i i should do a separate video on this man like i know i'm not a dating coach i'm really not but i can really give some good tips for men based off my experience dealing with western women or just women in general who play games um i've learned that Absence kills the cat. Absence brings uh, curiosity. And most women don't like easy things. They don't want you to just want them right away. They know that you want them. But they want to see that they can work on getting you. Because getting you is too easy. Women like games. I get it. So be the player that you are and play the fucking game. That's it. Play the fucking game. Play it. I don't like fucking playing a game. Most men who are who are at a certain age like myself, but I love younger women. And even with older women, they kind of act like that too. But older women, they kind of dried up and they already had their babies and their kids and their emotional baggage out the way. Nobody wants to fucking... Di- like, I'm sorry. I'm in my early 40s. I want a younger women. I like younger women. I like women that are in their 20s. I don't like women who have leftover baggage and all this other shit. From That just shows me failed relationships. That just si- that's just a sign of failed relationships because I don't got those baggages, so why should I deal with your baggage? No disrespect to single mothers and women who have a whole lot of kids all over the place, but it's just not for me. Or I have a lot of emotional... Uh, that's, that just can't emotionally attack, uh, emotionally invest into you, man. If a woman just can't emotionally invest into you, man, just fuck her, bro. Like, just, just cut her off, man. She's not worth talking to. You need somebody who's going to fight for you, who's going to, like, ride with you, who's going to fucking love you, who's going to be like, oh, good morning, babe. Do all those type of shit, man. Who's going to chase after you? But the moment you chase and you keep giving more, man, these women are fucking, they, 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 they're not going to deal with you, bro. Because they, they don't want easy. They want complicated. They want drama emotional roller you see sometimes i don't know i'm cutting off my words right now i'm sorry i know i have a habit of doing that shit they want emotional drama and suspense the reason why i cut off my words by the way is because i'm thinking so much i'm thinking at a thousand miles per hour my brain is trying to process shit when it comes down to women man okay when she starts to like women like emotional roller coaster man they love their emotions to be tapped with and they want to tap your emotion. They don't intentionally want to fuck with you, but they do that because they want to see how far they can go with you. And they also testing you to see what type of man you will be in a relationship with them. 99.9% of the time is never really about your looks, man. It's about mental. If you can mentally 
break her fucking spell because Jezebel lives within these women just like Delilah and just like Eve when she was persuaded by the serpent this is real deep man this is a spiritual mental game that we're playing right now and women have started it we just have to be the ones to finish it anyways guys my word of advice for Mr. Uh, forgot the brother's name my fault man I know I'm going at 100 miles per hour and talking Moses Gibson my advice for you brother since you already went through the surgery man I know you're going to have a lot of complications in life and it, it and it, it's because you're not naturally supposed to be this height and also I also got to say this too man don't do this uh, being tall, and also when you're tall, let's just say you're six three, six foot five, six foot seven, even seven feet tall. You can talk to these tall guys, and they'll tell you. Later on in life, that leads into a lot of complications, because the, when you're that tall, you can't process your blood that much in your system. You gotta constantly work out, cause you're you're immune to blood clots and a whole bunch of stuff because of your height. Tall people have to constantly work on themselves and make sure they're at a certain height because they can lead into a lot of, you know, they can get a, a lot of diseases that way just because of their height. Heart disease really fractures a lot within really tall people. But you can ask any tall person this. But anyways, man, if you have $170,000 to go ahead and spend on your surgery, then you can use that to go to the gym. You can use that to get a nice car, improve your looks. Dude, you, you don't need to get a pair of new legs. That's just my opinion. I want to know your guys' opinions. Make sure you guys go ahead and get those thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Write your comments down underneath the video. It really does mean a lot to me. We got to push this channel up so we can get more. I'm six subscribers away from hitting my milestone of 4,000. I've hit it before on my last channel. We're going to get this algorithm going, and I need you guys' help. Thank you all for tuning in. Pass my videos around. Get those thumbs up. I love you all. Be safe, man. And always, you come first. You always come first, man. And you are important. Women, you're important too. But this is for my men. Because we struggle through this every day. And nobody's there to give us a hug or to talk to. Because we're in the land of a pit. A pit's full of snakes and we gotta try to rise above them anyways i'm out of here guys the